Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Guess whose birthday it is? Yesterday. It's Jared's birthday yesterday. We changed our plan last minute, eh? We were gonna do something yeah. else, and then we kind of landed and we're just like, ah, we'll just go two days straight up this river. Our plan is this bottom section gets a lot of pressure. We know that. So we were gonna kind of push up past that and try and get into the water a bit further up that doesn't get fished as much, maybe, I don't know. So new water for both of us. But as we're walking up, we've seen several fish and we've found one in this piece of water here, which I can't see anymore. But we just thought, ah, oh, we're seeing fish, we'll just put the rods together, then we'll just fish our way up and kind of see what the day brings, make it up as we go along. So that's what we'll do. Put our stuff together, try to catch a fish. A white sticky yeah. outy rock is just in front of that, yeah. that dark smudge there. Just like two feet in front of me. Oh, that'll get there. Going over. Oh, come on. Give me one more and then change your nymph. Perfect, bro. Good cast. Change your fly. You looked at all of those. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? What, what the fuck? All right, so we fished to one, two, three fish. We fished to three fish. First one didn't want to know. Second one, we were about to change a fly, and a third one we didn't see ate the dry fly. Put, uh, just missed it. And then there was a rainbow after that, a head in the riffly bit at the head of the run that uh, just spooked. Don't go any longer, just push it across a bit. Oh, he's out of there. Spooked him. Good numbers of fish in the first couple of pieces of water, so that's always encouraging. We'll find one. We'll find one that wants to eat. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Out of there, bro. Okay. That's a spooky fish. You're going to have to drop that fly size down for yeah. sure. Oh, I can see one on the bottom there. There's one up high in the water in the shadow just beyond that grass too. Oh, one just took off the top over the back there. Mm -hmm. oh. Basically, mate, if you can't catch a fish out of here, oh, you've got to sell my you just, just walk out. <laughs> just walk out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go out wide and kind of come up along that water line, and I'll I'll see if I can get it some some eyes on some fish for you. Oh, I've got one over the back here. Yeah. Um, if you look right up against the wall, yeah. there's a, uh, you might not be able to see. There's a fish right up against that wall, high in the water. Yes, yeah, so if you draw a line across to the wall straight from that inside fish, uh, yeah. wow. come come back about a foot and he's right on the wall. You may have had a bit of drag. Yeah, it was, it was quite a long drift. Yeah, I saw that. Yes! Oh, buddy! Nice fish. Yeah, boy! Nice, Cheers, happy bro. birthday, dude. Yeah, oh, cool spots, dude. Cool spots. Ah, uh, come on, buddy. Come on. Nice, brother. Give him a drink. See ya, toodles. See ya, nice work. <laughs> 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 All right, sweet. First fish of the trip and a dry fly eat. So that was a size 12 tricky situation I think. Yeah. So yeah we just dropped down in that size just because of the behavior of those fish we have found. Really spooky, really educated so we just kind of dropped that fly profile down, dropped the size down. That oh, was awesome man, so. really cool yeah. and a really nice fish. Yeah, job done. Happy birthday. Cheers bro. Nice. Okay so here we're gonna run the Helios prototype I've been running in which is the five weight. On there we're gonna run the Mirage LT size 2 reel in the burnt orange. And we all know what's on there. It's the scientific anglers, amplitude, infinity, smooth, camo line, in a five-way. Then loop to loop to that, we've got a seven-foot floating poly leader from Orbis, as per usual, down to a tippet ring. And then off of there, I've got, what have I got? Five, oh, like six feet of 3X, down to some bashed up 4X, which I'll change. All right, so we'll get some new 4X. And we're gonna go maybe about four feet of 4X, I think. So that's six, four, that's 10, plus the floating poly, the 17. So about 17 foot to the first fly. 
There should be plenty. If we need to lengthen that out, then we'll do that later. I'm gonna blood knot those two together, but just whatever knot you like and have confidence in is the way to go. Tag ends in the hip back. I'm gonna go like a size 12 tricky situation, I think. Start with that double Davy knot for that. Tag ends in the hip back. All right, so we've got a little bit of lube on there. And then that's what we got. I don't know if you can see that okay, but there's our size 12 tricky situation. And then I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. Right, I found a fish in a little shallow riffly run. So that's a size 14 tricky situation uh, with some 4x off of that, maybe about 3 feet down to a little grey nymph. I think it's a size 14. Let's see how it goes. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, is he gone? Surely not. Uh, oh no, 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 I see him. Oh, is he. He's moving up. Oh, there's two of them chasing each other. That's why. Just pushing up through that fast water now. Still got him. One of them's dropping back here. Oh, that. Okay, okay, okay. I might have a third fish in there too, actually. Maybe that's... Yeah, off the top, baby! <laughs> that might be a brown. It looked like a brown when it came up. Did, eh? That's a nice brown, too. Yeah. Sort of a bit of a wrap up here. Boy, get out of there. So now he's wrapped around the tail. I've got no control over him. So I'm just going to try and swing him into the shallow stuff. And then Jared and try and get in there and give him a little bit of a scoopy scoop. Ooh. From the front, from the front, from the front, that's it. Nice brother, thank you. It's got the orange spots too. Yeah. Those orange, apparently Loch Levin strain that is. But that's just a stunning brownie. Look at that tail, just in the, great in the sun, eh? That was a great eat, just got the right drift and then just a nice little, little gulp. Slurp off yeah, a little off, slurp, yeah. that's the right word, slurp. slurp. Uh, so it's a brown and a rainbow, both great fish, both off the top. All right, yeah. string whiskey. <laughs> no more it's fishing. We'll camp here. <laughs> this is us for the day. That's what I should probably address is, uh, we've got a bit of a wrap around the tail during the fight, so I couldn't turn him. So we ended up kind of having to swing him in, kind of half beach him, and then Jared managed to get in there with that and scoop him. Not ideal, don't like doing it, but it's all you can do in that situation. Yep. Good to have a buddy with a net then. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, it's just beautiful water. Just piece after piece after piece. Really cool. There's a fish. Got one, got one. It's real hard to see with the sun in. You see that white stone that sticks out on the bottom? Yeah. Go over like another two feet, there's a dark smudge. That's the fish, it's a rainbow. Just that it sticks out more than anything else on the bottom yep. there. Yep. Just the other side of that, there's like a dark smudge. Okay. That's him. That's like the middle of his body. Nah, it might come across though. Coming over, coming over, coming over. Rejected. 
Yep. Oh, that was him, eh? Don't know more than that, or you're lining him. Oh, and he's gone. No, no longer. Oh. Yeah, fly line landed on him, oh. pretty much. I'm sure you're getting dragged there. Yeah? And gone. Another couple of fish out of there. So we're still still in Spookyville. Spooky, spooky McSpooksters. We'll keep pushing, keep trying. We just shortened Jarrah's leader a bit because the wind was giving him problems. So sometimes it's, it's better off uh, you know, fishing well with a shorter leader than trying to fish too long and then just not being able to get the cast out there. So I think that will help help matters a little bit. But yeah, it's got to be first cast on the money or nothing. I think that was him. Yep, that was him, I reckon. And yeah, I think that guy's still there. I think. Yeah, he's still there. Let me do a fly change. Is he still there? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, he's still there. Mm, terrible, too far left. Should do it. Right there. Got him. Nice. Cool colours. Cool colours in the sun. Thanks, mate. Okay, so there's a cool little rainbow. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he ate the first one, but I missed him, so I changed the fly. First good drift, boom, nailed it. Bit skinny, but cool jack, cool colours, cool markings. Um, quarter to, about 130, quarter to two. And beautiful day. Beauty. Lift. Have you got a nymph on? Yeah. I feel like he ate that. The dry fly went under. Yeah. Right, I've located what I think is a brown trout. And he's uh, down there. No way you'll be able to see him from where you are, but he's there, he's active, he's moving around. It's definitely a brown trout. So, this is shot 737 for Jared today. He needs to get a fish just to kind of just relax back into it. He's had a hard day, man. It's tough. So I've sent him over the other side just because of where the fish is. You just need to be on the other side to fish to this. Where is he? Just hold up there, bro. I just gotta try and locate him again. Oh, don't tell me. You're kind of gone. You're kind of gone. You're kind of gone. I think he's gone. Come on. It's ridiculous.
got to give it a little bit more risk bro because you've got no low fly line out to put any line speed in go so you've buttoned off on your power again you've got to be snappy with that wrist dude that's it behind him. Just in front. You might see that coming across. Get rid Lift! Trying to keep him down and this quiet stuff. Keep shortening that leaf dude. No rush, no rush, no rush. Shorten the leash, shorten the leash. Off balance, this way, rod left, that's it. And then head up. You got it. Shorten that leash down. Yep, nice. Woo! <laughs> oh, mate. Well done. All right, nice one, bro. Cheers, bro. Well earned. So we were just talking about that. Literally, it's quarter to five. I probably caught my last fish before lunch. Hey. Yeah, it was, yeah. So Jared has been fishing to fish for the last five and a half, six hours. Lots of shots, just things not going his way. Spooky fish, just missed chances. And then you get tired. We were just talking about this, like as the day goes on, you kind of get disheartened. Yeah, yeah. You get tired, you make mistakes, it costs you more fish, and it just kind of just snowballs, eh? Yeah, yeah. But like, just sticking with it and just keeping going, and then eventually it'll come together. Eventually it comes together. And it came together really cool. It was a really nice, slow, dry fly eat, and a really good fish, fish of the day. Nice work, man. Well done. Cheers. Perseverance pays off, again. Okay, look what we found. Yes, yes, yes. Super cool. We just stumbled upon this place. So someone's put a bit of work into this. So whoever you are, thank you very much. We will replace the wood before we leave and we will treat it well. But good find, we're super happy. Out the sun. Out the sun. Ah, uh, there's a breeze. Beds are ready to go, houses are up. Got some firewood done, probably add a bit more firewood, but for now we're gonna make a coffee and get out of these wet clothes. Ow, ow, ow. So we're gonna smack this broccoli in the jet boil and steam it. We've got some tomatoes, we've got some onion, and we've got some steak, some birthday steak going to be feast. It's going to get that fire really good and hot. Good bed of embers ready to go. Using my new knife. How cool is that handle? So, so nice. We'll roast these bad boys up. Ooh. Show me your new knife. Sexy. Oh yeah. Let's have a look at that handle. Oh man, that's so cool. It's nice. Boy's a genius, isn't he? I mean, look at that. Just works at art, aren't they? Yep. Wow. If anybody wants one of these knives, I'm going to link in the wild 
in the description below head over to the website check it out get yourself one because they're mean so we've got those chuck there we've got some we've got some garlic bread throw that in the embers and garlic bread. courtesy of lee we've got some vacuum packed beautiful steak Another slice over there. And you want to hold that cup because this could go. We cannot waste a drop of no. this. No. Oh, yeah. That, that's half of it, bro. We may not have whiskey tomorrow night. We definitely won't have whiskey tomorrow night. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that was maybe the most delicious camp meal we've ever had. <laughs> yeah. That was so good. Steak. Big shout out to Lee for the steak. And yeah, whoever built that badass fire. That's, uh, yeah, very cool. We enjoyed that. Uh, right, we're going to sign off. We're going to drink the last of the whiskey, probably. Yeah. Because oh, somebody didn't bring the entire bottle. No, probably about it. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> drinking all the whiskey. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Tough day, but a cool day. A lot of fish, then. Saw a heap of fish. Hopefully we can catch a few more of those tomorrow. Make sure you tune in next week and find out how we get on. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. See you later, brother. See you guys. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.